Joining me here at Bromley is Hereford manager Josh Gowling. In your wildest dreams, did you think you could win that win that match today, that cup tie? Yeah, I did to be fair. Um, you know, we looked at them through the week and, uh, and we looked at areas we thought we could exploit. I don't think we did that well enough in the first half, but I think when we got to cook to it a little bit more second half, I thought, thought we did really well. We just, we knew the type of team they were, obviously, we knew Bush was going to come in and play with his, his long throw and, you know, we, we knew we had to deal with set plays, long throws, free kicks, all that kind of stuff. And we knew we stood up to that, then we'd have a chance to win in the game. So I thought in possession we were a decent side and, yeah. Because you weathered the storm, you had some anxious moments in that first half. Listen, you can see why they are where they are in the league, uh, in the league above, because of the way they're playing. They're, they're direct, they've got players willing to, to have the battle and pick up second balls, and they've got, I mean, their, their wide lad who played wide uh, wing back uh, was excellent. So they've, they've got some real quality. Um, but again, like you say, if, if you can weather that storm, which we did, we thought coming out of second half, coming down the slope a little bit with the wing with us, um, we might have a bit more luck than we did. And Harry Pinchard's goal, that was well executed, wasn't it? Yeah, it was excellent. He's got that quality, hasn't he, Harry? Um, obviously, we've put him in a different role than the, the, the ten he started in this season, but I think he's come to life um, out wide. He, he drives in well, he drifts in well, he holds the ball well for us. And, you know, he's a dead ball specialist in there. His free kicks are excellent, his corners are excellent, and he gives us a real something to, 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 to hit, especially with, with, with our big lads. Now, Bromley forced themselves back into it, but I thought day, day or leave after a couple of moments in the first half when he's probably just too confident and um, he, he shaped quite well in there. Yeah, I think that's what you're going to get with Dale, he's a, he's a confident boy, but what is his handling was excellent, wasn't it? I think when they deliver balls in, he come and caught a few, was just alleviate the pressure, especially, especially against a big side like that, and I thought it was excellent. I personally thought the turning point in the game was when we went 1-0 up, so I just thought from that moment, no disrespect to the ref, but he made every decision for them, which ended up getting them, I mean, the throw-ins are throwing. Then the free kick's not a free kick, then they score from that. And then I just felt like it gave them impetus because every little knock or every little coming together, they seem to give them a free kick from it. And it, it kind of changed the momentum of the game a little bit. But uh, Project Pendley came up with a winner right at the death. I've just, what, a, what, a, what a time to score. I just said to him in there, I've, I've sent you out on a dual reg. And that's uh, two fingers up to the gaffer. <laughs> so, no, but look, no, Owen's brilliant. He wants to attack things. Something we didn't have last year. We did, we, I think we scored from two set plays last year, two corners. So this year we've, we've got a much more physical, dominant team. And, you know, players like Owen, Ty, Aaron, that want to get on Luke and want to get on the end of things. Um, we get goals from him. I was staggered by the number of Hereford supporters here this afternoon. Yeah, that must be very encouraging for you. Yeah, it's brilliant. Obviously, on the services on the way, uh, we stopped off at Cobham, Cobham on the way, and they're all there banging on the on the bus, uh, giving us uh, their support. So, and, and obviously at the end, they were absolutely fantastic. Our fans are brilliant, and they sang all game. Though, I mean, it's great to get a last minute winner with them behind us. So, and it's, and it's just brilliant to give them something to go away happy with. Now, first round proper. Any uh, preferences to some big names in that potential draw? I'm not even going to say anything this time, because last time I said to him we ended up getting Bromley away, so I'm um, just not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but in, in terms of uh, the club status as well, it's, it's good for the club to be in the first round proper, oh. with some, f some f familiar names, some household names up and down the club. Yeah, I think for uh, even just for myself an achievement, it's the first time I've been in the first round proper as a manager. You know, we, we went out third round last year, we went out first round the year, first round qualify the year before that. So just to get to this level is brilliant and these lads deserve it. These lads deserve a good tie to get the fans behind and we deserve the home tie as well with our fans and yeah, there, there, there's some, we, we just feel like we can be anyone. Now I'm not sure if you ever knew Darren Peacock, but I had a text during the game saying, is it Aaron Amadi Holloway the new Darren Peacock? You've you know converted from centre forward to centre half. Which he hasn't put a foot wrong yet. Well, I don't think Aaron's got Darren Peacock's bank balance, but <laughs> <laughs> what a player he was. But yeah, no, look, um, Aaron's come in from day one and said that he can play centre half, and we've known that. Obviously, we always like versatile players in the squad, so from day one we've known that. Now, with the injury we've had, we've had to do that. Is Aaron sharp enough to play at centre forward yet? No, he's not. So for us, playing centre half, I shouldn't really say that because I was centre half, but. Yeah, he can pod a little bit more on centre half. But no, he's been excellent. He wins his duels. He's very strong. He's comfortable in possession, which is what we want from centre half. And he's and he's a brilliant. And Oren alongside him, he's been absolutely fantastic. And great to see the skipper back as well, Jared Hodgkiss. He must have, must have thoroughly enjoyed being involved today. Yeah, I mean, when we went to Boston away, um, we were doing the warm up, and we didn't have Skip, we didn't have Luke, and the, the room was quiet. The dressing room was quiet. The team was quiet. So coming away to Bromley, getting Luke back in, getting Skip back in, you get that voice, you get those leaders, you get those people that want to win. Um, obviously, along with time, either lad. So it just we just needed that, and it got us over the line. First victory on 4G that I'm aware of. I know. And you got Bradford Park Avenue next week, another 4G surface. So that augurs well for next Saturday. Yeah, no, I was nervous coming in thinking we haven't got 4G to be honest. But no, yeah, look, I think we've got. I mean, you can see we've got a different type of team this year. 
we're a lot more resolute, we're a lot more, you know, together. And we've got some men in the team and, and it helps you along the way when you come to places like this where you've got digging and be solid. So yeah, hey, that's six wins on the six, five wins, one draw. Um, and now we've got to go to Bugs Park Avenue and carry on this win. Well done today. Cheers, thank you.